Well, dear viewer, we're going to hang out for the next few minutes and hopefully enjoy our time together. Laura Davis Turner sent our beginning. We'll travel in the footprints of little guys like this, spotted by Mark Domansky DuPont. Sort of a snail's pace. Oh, some of us will need to step away. This one from Leona Palsky of Antisfort. Busy as a bee. Sorry, couldn't resist. Life can move along at a much slower pace out here than where we work. Little friends here from Laura Snyder, Muncie. Stand around, talk to invisible friends in hopes, I suppose, of gaining a few. This is from Amber Jones, Wilkesbury. See what happens when it works? Blue Jays together from Tammy Hovancic, Hunlock Creek. Here's another. Let's go catch some rays, somebody said. And before you know it, the makings of a picture from David Colcherno, Ulster. But mostly out here, it's go it alone. Bernie Frowley from Asylum caught a moment. Another singular treat that Deb Leonard from Wayne County titled My Beautiful World, and it surely is. We rush through our daily work. Nature takes more time, gives us some time to watch its handiwork, as here from Michael Bibb, Jersey Shore. Relax, nature says, and it happens. Summer days invite us to do what this trio did. Carol Elliott and Mount Cobb spotted them. Cool off a bit while you're at it. Let Lisa Mickley of Benton take your picture. It's summer. No big hurry. Take your time. And if you happen to find passion flowers instead of roses, as Rachel Dressler did in Sealand's Grove, that's okay too. Serenity often begins when you stop to look and smell the flowers. I'm Mike Stevens in the Photo Link Library.